Hey guys, it's Get to Mac. What's up? Oh, um, I'm here to tell you about the Apple event. It just got over. I'm recording this right now. There were some awesome things. They got a new iLife, iLife 11. Now this has a new iPhoto. It's amazing. I oh movie. Um, GarageBand is all amazing. They also have a new FaceTime for Mac. That means that you can have FaceTime calls with your Mac to someone's iPhone from your Mac to someone's iPod. This is just outstanding. Now next up, they had the new MacBook Air. This thing is so nice. It's so thin, it's like a razor. They should name it the MacBook Razor because it's like, it's amazing. I'm kind of speechless about it. I don't, I'm not a big fan of the MacBook Air, but this one is amazing. It has, they have two sizes, 11.6 and a 13.6, I think. I'm not sure I really, I'm just like so excited right now. I forget them. I mean, it is so awesome. And they are shipping it. I think there you can start ordering it today. I don't know when they're shipping it. They really didn't say. They said that you can order it today. Also, you can go and get the upgrade for iLife 11 for $49. And when you buy a new Mac, you get a iLife 11. And this is just amazing. And I'm not going to bash the MacBook Air, but I still say iPad. Now, the reason I say iPad is because I already got a MacBook Pro, and I really don't need another laptop. I, um, my MacBook Pro is nice to go places. I mean, like, I don't need nothing bigger or smaller, should I say. It's, MacBook, my MacBook Pro is good, uh, so, most likely you won't see me getting a MacBook Air. And I don't know about you, if you have a MacBook Pro and are like, yeah, I need this. I would just say iPad. The iPad is still the way to go, even though with this new MacBook Air. Now, if you're a rich guy, go ahead and buy it because you have money. But like people, like the computer consumers like me, where I like tech, I like computers, I like them, and don't have that much money for them, that don't have... Two thousand dollars to spend every six months. Then I just say, keep what you got and get the cheaper stuff like the iPad that is just the same. The iPad is just the same, maybe a bit slower processor and smaller um memory. It has um. The highest is what 64 gigabytes when the highest is on the MacBook Air 260 maybe uh, somewhere around there. But the MacBook Air is the same as the iPad just in the computer as a notebook form if you understand what I'm trying to say. So even though this was an amazing event, I'd say still get the iPad and if you don't have like money and you know because it's still the same you just don't have as much um, hard drive space well it's actually flash memory and it's still like the same speed so this Apple event was off the charts man um this gets a max signing off peace